it's me, Peach Pet Paradise, and today's video is Chelsea's Piggies 30 plus subscribers contest entry. Firstly, I'd like to say huge congratulations on getting over 30 subscribers. Um, you're actually at 46 subscribers now, and you deserve so many more subscribers. So can everyone please go subscribe to Chelsea's Piggies? She's such a really lovely channel. Um, she has some really great videos, and she really deserves so many more subscribers and she has many adorable pets as well. So please go subscribe to her channel. The link to her channel will be in the description. And the theme is to do a colourful cage tour and Honey's most favourite DIY toy. And I'm going to start off with the colourful cage tour. And I've chosen Honey's cage for the most colourful cage tour because her cage is actually very colourful and the Amic Fantasy cage is naturally colourful anyway. It's the most colourful hamster cage sold for hamsters. So the colourful cage really goes well with the colourful theme. For this I've actually chosen all of the colourful toys and colourful chews and none of the toys or chews are natural coloured in this cage. I've chosen all the nice colourful ones so it goes really well with the colourful theme. So let's get started. For Penny's cage we have her paper and paper wool flake bedding. This is the usual one she always has in her cage and it's really absorbent, non-toxic, contains no parasites and it's a great bedding I recommend for hamsters and she's always had this for a cage. At the bottom base of the cage we have the hide and seek cube. This is from Pets at Home and if you've been a subscriber for a very long while then you know Honey's had this from when she was a baby and she's absolutely loved this toy and it's her most favourite toy. She loves climbing on this and going through this and it supports her ladder very well. It's just such a brilliant toy. On top of the hide and seek cube we have her bird and ladder. This is from the range and this leads all the way up to the second level. Then far at the back in the corner we have her potty and she's potty trained so it keeps the cage nice and clean um, and that just always sits in the back of the corner over there. Then in the centre of Honey's cage we have her rodent Trixie wheel. This is from eBay and it's an 8 inch wheel. She loves this wheel and she's always on it every night. And it's such a great wheel for her. In the corner of her base we just have her blue hut which is from Pets at Home and in there is just some bedding. Um, we did run out of paper flake bedding so at the moment she's on her usual paper and paper wool flake bedding in there but she's still sleeping fine at the moment and until I get her some more bedding um, she'll be on this for now. And she always sleeps in this corner and it's a nice area for her to sleep. corner of her bottom base, just beside the door, we have her comfy cave bridge. This was from the range and it's such a lovely colourful bridge. It's all natural wood so she can chew this as well and it'll keep her teeth down nice and natural way. But she loves going through this and also likes to climb on it when it's either side of the tube. And it's so colourful, it's a lovely pretty colourful um, bridge and it goes really well with the colourful thing. This becomes the cave bridge. We have our iMac Fantasy Tube. This comes with the cage and this leads to the next level. Going on to the second level. In the very corner of Honey's second level we have her food bowl. This is the red polka dot bowl by Mason and Cash and this is from the range. And inside the bowl we have the fruit and veg plum chew. This is from Pets at Home and Honey really enjoys chewing these. In the corner of the second level we have Honey's water bowl. This is the blue bowl from Pets at Home and inside we just have some water. And this is the usual area where it usually sits and it has a nice little barrier so if any water falls out it usually doesn't go spreading onto the level. Inside the second level we have her fruit and veg banana chew and this is from Pets at Home. And again, Honey really enjoys chewing these. As you can see, she's chewed quite a bit of it. Then just beside the door, we have her Puzzle Playground tube. And this is from the range. And she really likes going through this tube. And it's nice and bright and colourful. And again, goes really well with a nice colourful theme. And like Fantasy tube, which leads to the top level. And lastly, going on to her top level. So on the side of the top level, we have her Puzzle Playground pieces. These are the cubes put together and it forms a nice sort of tunnel if you like, sort of a hideaway tunnel cube toy 
And she really likes going into this. They also climb into nice the colourful, it's got lots of nice different colours, so it goes really well with colourful themes. You see, it makes a great tunnel. Then we have the Puzzle Playground tube, which again comes from the range and sits in the corner. And again, Honey loves going through this. It's also got lovely colours as well. the level, we have the Chew Tube, and this was from Pets at Home. And Honey really likes going through this and using it as a tunnel. She also loves rolling it around too. In the corner of the top level, we have her Nut Not Nibbler. And this is from the range. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous colours. There's so many colourful chews and wooden pieces on this. It's such a lovely chew toy. And Honey really actually does like rolling this around, surprisingly. She doesn't chew much of this, but she does enjoy pushing it around and sometimes rolling it around as well. And it's so colourful and goes really well with the colourful. At the top level, we have her sand bath. And in here is the chinchilla sandy. And this is from the range. And she loves rolling around in the sand and also digging in it as well. It's a nice secure area of her own where she can go and have a nice sand bath. The colourful cage tour. Now going on to Honey's most favourite DIY toy. I don't often give Honey many DIY toys. Um, very few DIY toys are given to her because she mostly has her shop bought toys. Um, but there's very few toys I've given her, and her most favourite I've got to say would be the what I call the treat tube. And this involves a piece of paper, kitchen tube, or a loo roll tube, and of course, some treats. And to make this toy, I simply, with the piece of paper, place the kitchen roll tube in the middle of the paper on the top. Then I roll this with the cheese. And whilst holding its shape, I'll then twist an end. Now your tube should look something like this. And this is to stop any treats from falling out of the end. Now it's time to add your treats. Your treats are in the tube. It's time to twist the end. And here's the finished result. And Honey absolutely loves this toy. It's such a great treat tube, and she loves ripping over the paper and trying to get inside, get all the treats out. She also likes to rip open the cardboard tube as well, and she has a really great time um, chewing this open. It's really interactive for her as well, as well as stimulating her as well and keeping her busy and active in her cage. I sometimes also put this in her play box as well, and she really enjoys this. And this has to be one of her most favourite DIY toys. And that's the video, and that's my entry for Chelsea Piggy's 30 plus subscribers contest. Remember to leave any comments or questions down below. Good luck to everyone else who enters this contest. If you want to see more of our videos, then go subscribe. If you enjoyed this video and this entry, then don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you next time. Bye!